Ganymede is the biggest satellite in the solar system, and also the biggest object in the solar system that does not have a substantial atmosphere. It was discovered by Galileo in 1610. If you take a keen interest in celestial bodies just like we do, then you must watch this entire video where we discuss some interesting facts about this moon that are sure to amaze you. Number 1. Ganymede is the largest satellite in the solar system, bigger than both the planets Mercury and Pluto, and two-thirds bigger than Mars. It is also more than twice as massive as our moon, making it the most massive of all planetary moons in the solar system. Based on its mass and diameter of 5,269 kilometers, it should have been a planet, but since it orbits a planet and not the Sun, it is classified as a moon. Number 2. Ganymede was discovered along with the three other Jovian moons, Europa, Io, and Callisto. Did you know that the discovery of these four Galilean satellites eventually led to the theory that the Earth was not the center of the solar system and planets in the solar system were orbiting the Sun? Number 3. Ganymede orbits at a speed of 39,165 km per hour and takes seven Earth days to complete its orbit around Jupiter. This means that one day on Ganymede is seven days on Earth. Number 4. Similar to the Earth's moon, Ganymede is also tidally locked to Jupiter and only one side of it is always facing the planet. Interestingly, for every orbit of Ganymede, Europa orbits Jupiter twice and Io orbits four times. Number 5. Ganymede is the only moon in the solar system known to have its own magnetic field. The field is very small though and is barely noticeable because it is buried within Jupiter's much larger magnetic field. Number 6. Did you know that there could be an ocean layer of liquid water beneath the surface of Ganymede? This proves that there could be sign for sustainable life on Ganymede. Number 7. Even more interestingly, Ganymede has a thin atmosphere that contains oxygen. However, sadly, there is not enough of it to support any form of life. Number 8. The European Space Agency has planned a mission called JUICE, where J U stand for Jupiter, I C stand for icy moons and E stands for Explorer, which would launch from Earth in 2022 and arrival at Jupiter in 2030. While the mission will look at three moons Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa, Ganymede will be the focus because it shows how icy worlds evolve and could be habitable in general, ESA said on its website. Scientists will try to figure out more about its ocean and icy crust, map its surface in detail, learn about the interior, probe the atmosphere and study the magnetic field. Number 9. Considering its distance from the sun, temperatures on this moon are unbearably low. Daytime average temperature on the surface is minus 183 degrees Celsius while at night temperatures drop to minus 193 degrees Celsius. Number 10. There is an interesting story behind the name of this moon. Ganymede was originally named Jupiter 3 by its discoverer, but this was changed to Ganymede, after a suggestion made by Johannes Kepler, a famous German astronomer and mathematician. In Greek mythology, a beautiful Trojan prince named Ganymede was actually abducted by Zeus for his beauty and was made to serve as a cup-bearer for the gods, which was more an honor than a punishment. Interestingly, this makes sense because Ganymede orbits Jupiter, which is the Roman equivalent of Zeus. Ganymede was also a lover of Zeus, which is the case for all the Galilean moons. That was all about Ganymede for you. Do like share, comment, and subscribe to our channel, Explify.